Welcome to our comparison video on switching from 255 70ths R18 to 265 65ths R18. The diameter difference between these tire sizes is 1.5%, which falls within the acceptable 3% range. This means the interchange is acceptable without necessitating major adaptations to your vehicle. Switching to the 265 65ths reduces the diameter by 0.49 inches, which slightly lowers the vehicle's ground clearance. This decrease is minimal but could make your vehicle marginally more susceptible to obstacles on rough roads. The 265 65ths is 0.39 inches wider than the 255 70ths. This increased width provides a larger contact patch, which can potentially improve traction and stability, especially during cornering and in wet conditions. The change to 265 65ths decreases the sidewall height by 0.25 inches. This smaller sidewall height might result in a slightly firmer ride and less impact absorption compared to the 255 70ths, which could be noticeable on rougher roads. With the smaller 265 65ths tires, the speedometer will read slightly higher than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour, the actual speed will be 19.69 miles per hour. This difference is minimal and unlikely to cause any significant issues. Based on our observation, switching to 265 65ths R18 offers benefits such as potentially improved traction and stability due to the increased width and larger contact patch. The minimal change in overall diameter means that your vehicle's performance and handling characteristics will remain largely unchanged. However, there are some trade-offs to consider. The slightly lower profile might result in a marginally firmer ride due to the shorter sidewall height. Additionally, the small reduction in ground clearance, while minimal, could be a factor to consider if you frequently drive on rough terrain.